Good morning. And this one's a really quick one this morning. And it's a follow up to a couple of videos I did previously talking about CEX and their policy of reprinting covers on games that they presumably get in without covers and in some cases without boxes. And I highlighted two issues there. First off, it was likely that they were and are in breach of copyright law because without permission, reprinting a cover that is the property of someone like Nintendo or Rockstar or somebody like that could be an infringement of their copyright, in which case CEX could be in trouble. And there was some doubt about whether CEX had had permission to do that or not, but it seems not. If you go to Pomino Pictures and you look up his videos on this, he actually went into a lot of depth on this and he couldn't find any permission. And there's certainly no blanket permission. And I'll put a link into his videos and you should go and check those out. The second issue, though, was doing this and not letting the customer know is actually misleading customers. If you are reprinting covers and or using different cases and you're not telling your customers, then you're in effect lying to them by omission. And that again could be a breach of the law because under the law, you are as a seller obliged to tell your customer what it is you're selling and if there are any problems. And if you're reprinting covers and you're providing alternative cases in some cases, then that can be a breach. So the first one, I'm not sure that uh, CEX have dealt with at all. Uh, the second one, though, it does look like they may have attempted to do something about it. The reason I say that is you should be looking at a picture now. And um, this was a picture I took in CEX. You can see clearly here that there are two copies or many copies of Red Dead Redemption 2. Two specifically stand out. And of those two, they are in bigger cases. And in the corner of the case, top left hand corner, it says cover reprinted. So what in effect they're showing here is that these aren't original covers. And in fact, they're not original cases either. And if I move along to the next picture that I took, you can see it even more clearly. Uh, on one on the right, you've got cover reprinted and the one on the left, you haven't. The one on the left, as far as I can tell, is an original case with an original cover. The one on the right isn't. And at least CEX are now showing that clearly. Although I would prefer it to be slap bang in the middle and to be a little bit clearer, but you know, maybe I'm being a bit picky there. There is one other thing that I will note though, if you look at the price, <laughs> the price on the original and the price on the one with the reprinted cover are identical. Now, if you come to reselling the original, you should be able to get a reasonable price for it. If you try to resell this with the printed cover, the reprinted cover, I should say, you are going to find that you're going to have trouble reselling it. So you're certainly not going to get anywhere near 42 quid for it. And in fact, CEX themselves would only give you the price of the loose disc. They're not going to pay you for a boxed edition. So you need to watch out for that if you are intending on, on buying a, a game from CEX. And do even now, you know, with these covers, it makes it a bit easier you know, check carefully to make sure that it hasn't got a reprinted cover. And I can only go for the the CEX that I've been in and one other CEX. I don't know which CEX this one is, but I got another picture here and I'll move to that one. Now, this is a picture that was sent to me by uh, Count over at Gamecast. And those of you who follow my channel know that I do the occasional podcast with Count. Sometimes I sit in with them, they sit in with me. But he sent this one onto, well, he, he posted this on Discord and said that maybe they're changing their policy. And it looks like they are. But, you know, I can't say that this is definitely a global policy. All I can say is that this has changed in the stores I've been in. 
or at least one store that I've been in and I've seen that this is what's happened. And as I say, I go back here and you can see it clearly here and clearly here. But I can say that this is a global policy. So I would still say be vigilant and be careful. If you're going into CEX and you're buying video games from them, do check to make sure you're getting the original cover. And if you're not getting the original cover, don't pay 42 quid for it because it's simply not worth that money. Not in my view anyway. This one, the original, I still don't think it's worth 42 quid second hand because they're both second hand. So, you know, I, I don't know, I, I CEX, this is another issue, but CEX have definitely got a problem with their pricing. And often you can go around the corner and buy the item elsewhere, brand new, for less money. So do watch the price, but definitely, definitely make sure that you're not buying a game with a reprinted cover, especially if sitting next to it is an original. But as I say, this for me is a step forward at least. And it's nice to see that CEX have maybe responded to some of the people making videos and some of the people complaining about this. I don't think it addresses the copyright issue at all, but that's not really an issue for me. That's an issue for the companies whose copyright this is. Anyway, that's, uh, that's all I wanted to say, really. It's just a quick follow up to my previous videos. Hopefully that uh, can give you guys some information. Let me know what you think about this and let me know if you've been into CEX and you've seen any of this recently. Have you seen any of these covers with cover reprinted in the top left hand corner? Or are you still going into CEX and finding that there's reprinted covers without them being labelled? As I say, let me know in the comments and we can hash it out in there. But in the meantime, I'm going to do what I usually do and grab myself a cup of tea. and. Uh, I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.